your class. This lesson summarizes the advantages and disadvantages of using hydroelectric power. Remember, advantages are different from the role played by hydroelectric power to the development of your country. These are just good things you enjoy when you use hydroelectric power. Number one, it is simple to use. Even a, a small kid can use hydroelectric power. It is a matter of switching on and switching off. You switch off, power is off. You switch on, power is on. Two, it is very fast and quick. One can say it saves time compared to when you use firewood or charcoal. If you want to boil tea and you use electric kettle, two minutes are enough for you to be taking tea compared to the one who is going to start a charcoal stove. It is less tiresome. This is very clear. It is very clean and smart because it does not involve smoke like firewood and it is not as dirty as charcoal. It saves the environment because it does not involve cutting many trees like when you use firewood. It is easy to transport and distribute through wires using transformers so it is easy to transport this power and you install it from village to another, one district to another, even from a country to another. It is renewable. You cannot exhaust it because the major source is water and water is a free gift from God. It is very strong and therefore can be used in heavy industries to run machines. Disadvantages of hydroelectric power. You want to see how bad it is to use hydroelectric power. It is very expensive, you know, even managing to pay for cash power every month is still a problem in many homes. Buying bulbs, buying wires, electric poles, transformers, it is very expensive. It requires skilled labor, engineers to install. And you know, these people are rare. It causes dangerous accidents. It can even burn a house, burn a city, burn an industry, etc. It destroys electric appliances like TVs, radios, fridge, etc. It is not common everywhere like firewood. Not every household in the world has hydroelectric power. It's rare because it is expensive. Building of dams across rivers may have a negative effect on aquatic ecosystem because you are blocking the river channel. Aquatic animals like fish may not be free to move wherever they want. Uh, reservoirs behind the dams may cause floods and floods may even lead to decaying of organic matter or materials and lead to pollution. Uh, big reservoirs lead to displacement of people. In case there is a big lake created behind the dam, like uh, Lake Nasa, it can displace many people. It cannot be uh, it cannot be stored for future use, and therefore it is not very reliable. When hydroelectric power is off, and you are in prep at night reading, you need to go and sleep because you have no appointment with it when it will come back and you never stored enough during the day 
for you to use at night you just go it disappoints you thank you